2014. I'm gonna jump right into it. I got 14 great ideas to make your 2014 better than 2013. Ready? Let's get it. Buy a diary. You live life's experiences and you write them down on paper. That way you don't have to write them down on Instagram and Twitter and Facebook because the rest of us don't really want to read that. We don't care that your baby pops came home late or who you gonna cut off in 2014 or what your boss did. We don't really care about that. Don't be scared to be a hybrid. You can't really succeed today if you only do one thing well. Do two things, three things, four things well. Our cars are hybrids. Even our athletes, our LeBron James, what is he, a, a point, point forward shooter guard? Yeah. Sow more seeds. Want more fruit? You want more of a plentiful harvest? Sow more seeds. Now obviously if those seeds start to sprout, there comes a degree of responsibility with that because you have to nurture and water all those seeds. But, one more fruit, sow more seeds. You ain't got no fruit, might be your fault. You ain't planting nothing. Got milk, milk does a body good. I'm thinking that's a bunch of crock actually. I'm gonna look more into this, but why is it that cats and maybe one other animal um, are the only two animals that drink milk beyond infancy. And humans, we're the only ones who drink other animals' milk. And milk is linked to mucus, and mucus is linked to cancer, but we promote milk. I might have to get back to you on that one, but in the meantime, stop drinking that. I don't know who you pray to, whether it's the universe, whether it's uh, Jehovah, whether it's Jesus, Allah, whoever you pray to. I mean, obviously, I have my preference, but I'm not here for that. Talk to him more. This year, talk to that person more. When you're traveling, when you're packing, pack an extra pair of drawers and socks. Yeah. If you're right-handed, learn to brush your teeth with your left hand. If you're left-handed, learn to brush your hair with your right hand. Why? Because it stimulates a new section of the brain and those are activities you normally do right when you wake up in the morning. So you wake up in the morning, fresh start, and you're stimulating a part of your brain that probably hasn't been stimulated in about 20 years. Let's start doing that in 2014. Find a mentor. I'd actually suggest finding more than one. Find somebody you go to for financial advice. Somebody you go to for spiritual or marital advice. Somebody you go to for health advice. But somebody you have a personal relationship with, not just a business relationship. Do that. A wise man seeks counsel. You can't do this by yourself, stupid. There's T-H-E-R-E. -E. There's T-H-E-I-R. There's T-H-E-Y apostrophe R-E. They all sound the same. They're three different words that do three different things. Learn what they do. There's Y-O-U-R. There's Y-O-U apostrophe R-E. They both sound the same. They're two different words. They do two different things. Learn what they do. When you're eating in a public place and you're about to throw your food away, Especially if you're outside, look around. There might be somebody less fortunate that could use what you're actually about to throw away. Just imagine you being homeless and starving and sitting here watching somebody throw some food away. Pinpoint that. You might see somebody looking. They may look like they're in need. You may want to offer. Or if you don't want to do the one-on-one -on -one thing, go the extra mile and maybe take food to a soup kitchen. You know, you have a barbecue, there's things left over. Do that. It goes a long way. Trust me. Does. So, we're in the restaurant, we order dessert. I know how ice cream does my stomach sometimes, but I order it anyway. She's pretty, we're having a good time. I order dessert, I'm an idiot. Because when I'm driving home, rumble in the Bronx. I'm whipping, I'm dipping, I'm cutting people off. I'm running red lights, I gotta get to the toilet. I'm sure the other drivers looked at me like I was rude and inconsiderate. Happens that way in real life sometimes. People are rude and inconsiderate. However, 
sometimes you don't know their situation. Might be a reason, might be something they're dealing with. Let's have a little more compassion. Doesn't mean give everybody a pass, but have a little more understanding. You never know what somebody's going through. Let's start making new mistakes. Let's stop making the old mistakes. My man, stop putting yourself in a position where you waiting for that phone call for her to tell you that her period finally came. Let's stop making that mistake. Ladies, let's stop picking the same kind of guy over and over and over again. Because then you got the homeboy or the big brother like me who you keep coming to about the new guy who's just like the old. Let's make new mistakes. This is two part, this is two part. Ladies, this doesn't apply to all of you, but it applies to a lot of you. You gotta start policing your emotions. Police your emotions. It doesn't mean cut them off, it doesn't mean be cold, it doesn't mean be heartless, it doesn't mean feel no pain, but emotions are a slippery, funny thing. Feelings are a funny thought. I just felt like a tuna salad an hour ago, now I want pizza. Feelings come and go. I don't know if I want that being the thing that dictates my decisions. Police your emotions. Sprinkle a little more logic in there. Fellas, your arm shouldn't be about to fall off or you realize you got a rusty nail stuck in your tooth to be the reason that you now want to go to the dentist or to the doctor. Let's start doing that regularly. Don't be a frog. I'm glad you asked. A frog, internally, they have a mechanism that adjusts their temperature in regards to the external temperature. So, the water's cold, their internal mechanism makes it warm. The water's hot, their internal mechanism cools them off. The problem with that is, if you put a frog in a pot of hot water, it will adjust and cool itself off. If you turn that water up a little more, it will adjust more to cool itself off. You could turn that fire all the way up to that water is boiling, and rather than the frog trying to change the environment or leave the environment, it'll sit right in it, still trying to adjust itself. There's people like that too. Don't be a frog. Sometimes you need to change what's going on around you or leave what's going on around you. Don't just be sitting in the middle of some foolishness trying to adjust for the sake of adjusting. But stop doing that. It's 2014. I love you.